is me KLV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys this Octavia build now if you saw from the start of the video they did quite a lot of damage now if you know me I like my damage my tanky frames and uh, Octavia is definitely up there the Octavia is definitely up there with the damage and tanky frames and if you saw as well on how easy it was to kill that acolyte it literally killed it so quick like it is just amazing and I was invisible literally didn't have to press anything so uh yeah, so basically Octavia is a really, really good frame. I'm going to go over her abilities at first and then, uh, yeah. So let me just go over to my config B and we'll go over it. So first off, we have her mallet. Now this is her main damage uh, source. So basically what this is, it basically beats damage into nearby enemies and draws their fire damage inflicted on the mallet increases its lethality. So basically when an enemy shoots at this mallet, it will then increase the damage. Now this is why it's so good and why Octavia is so good because this can scale off basically enemy level. Because obviously the higher the enemy, the more damage they're gonna do and the more damage they can put out to this uh, mallet. So really, really good right there. Next we've got the Resonator, now this is a decent decent uh, ability, uh, depending on how you play it, Octavia if you're running around and everything is quite good, but basically it launches a roller ball that charms foes to follow it, combined with the mallet to create a moving ball of sonic destruction. So basically what this does is basically like a crowd control ability, but I normally subsume this and uh, probably a lot of other people do as well and uh, basically change it out. So next we've got the Metronome, now this is a basically the ability that you're going to be using to basically go invisible so this grants buff to those who consistently perform actions in time to octavia's music time jumps offer the uh, virus speed buff crunch crouching on beef grants cloaking with the nocturne buff firing uh with rhythmically i probably said that wrong again uh best hours operate to multi-shot buff timed uh, buff timed melee swings give the fourth damage buff so basically increased damage you get increased multi shot speed and invisibility so really really good right there next we've got the amp this is just to top everything off to make everything so much more better what this does is draws power from the decibel level of sound in the area and uses it to amplify damage buff for octavia and her allies it also doubles the damage and range of nearby mallets so this is really really good because it just increases the range what you can't say no to more range and more damage so really really good right there so yeah octavia all around very very good frame so i highly recommend picking up octavia prime or just the normal octavia it doesn't really matter on which one you choose so I'm going to go through the mods. So next, first off, we have got Energy Siphon. The reason why this is because our efficiency is 90% and you want to be making sure you have all your abilities up and everything. Next, we have got Blind Rage on here. Blind Rage basically allows us to get the strength and yeah, you can use the max out of Blind Rage if you wanted, but personally, I didn't really use it because efficiency goes down and you want to have enough efficiency. Next, we have got Umbral Intensifier. This increases our damage. So by literally a little bit more from the normal Intensifier. So I recommend using this. Next, we have Streamline to keep our efficiency up. So we are not really low and having to use so much energy. Next, we've got Prime Continuity for the duration because you want to have a nice amount of duration on your boss, your amp, your mallet, all that. Next, we've got Augur Besses for more duration because again, you want to have a nice amount of duration. Next, we've got Stretch and Augur Reach for range. Augur mods in general are really, really good just because you can get energy when you are when you use your ability. Well, if you didn't know about the shield gating system, can be a huge bonus. Next, and last of all, is Rolling Guard. Rolling Guard basically makes us go invulnerable, so it helps us out a, a ton. Helps us out a ton with using Rolling Guard. 
uh, you might think oh you're invisible you're not going to take damage you can still take status damage and if you're going against for example uh, infested then toxic clouds can do a lot of damage in them later later rounds so rolling guard is a huge one next we're arcane energize and fury just because i like having a lot of melee damage and i like to be able to get my energy back so i recommend arcane energize for sure and the ability that we did subsume uh take off our resonator is rest on range now you do have to have the right colors for this but with this build what this does is with your rest on rage you're going to have the rage version now what the rage version does is speeds up the enemies and also has damage vulnerability on them and um, this is like 104 percent but it speeds them up by 41 percent now you're thinking why do you want to speed up the enemy now the reason why is because when you speed them up they are going to do damage quicker to your mallet and then obviously the more damage they do to that mallet the more damage you're going to dish out with that mallet so a really really good ability that i highly highly recommend putting on your uh octavia if you don't you do you do you at the end of the day but i highly recommend if you want to make the basically the octavia the best it can be i highly put on rest and rage for it now if you know if you want to have octavia basically do that you need to have your emissive colors set to white now if it's set to white then they will speed up if it's set to black they will sleep you also could do this with leveling stuff up but i'll get to a another, another video on the affinity on leveling stuff up as well on another video because it is uh, very very good but yeah that's basically the build that i use also i also run zenoric because energy why not but uh, yeah, that's basically been the build. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Very much appreciated. Also, come check me out on Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday and uh, sometimes Saturday from about 9 a.m. UK, UK time till about 5 p.m. So make sure you go check out. I do a bunch of stuff like helping people out. Uh, just basically just chilling out, doing sorties, banters, all that. And uh, also do giveaways as well. So make sure you go check out my Twitch. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.